Hey everyone, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. And if you are returning, thank you so much for coming back and joining me in another video. So as you can probably tell behind me and also by the title of this video, this is my first moving vlog. If you guys have not already checked out, I did post an empty apartment tour before this video so if you haven't checked it out go ahead and check it out I'll link it but I am currently on the way to the apartment right now um we just finished packing up like my old place and everything and so the movers should be a little bit behind me and yeah we're gonna go to head to the new apartment I'm trying to get there a little bit before them so I can get like a couple things done and make sure everything is like situated out of the way for them and yeah we're gonna go ahead and move in today is gonna be a long day it's been I started off early it's about almost lunchtime now so it's gonna be a long day though because I definitely have some more things to do at the old place um, donations to take and just like we're moving a whole moving day so yes I will catch up with y'all once we get to the apartment and I'll show you guys we'll see if I can set the camera up to show you guys a little bit of the um, you know bringing stuff in so yeah I'll catch you at the apartment Home and hanging on my neck, the bracelet matches the set. My brother name is Tina Dollar, stop all that back and forth over the neck. My mama wish I would've went corporate, she wish I would've went exec. I still turn to a CEO, so the lifestyle she respect. Hey, two sprinters to Quebec, Chef Lee, Boo and Mon Beck. They only giving niggas plus one, so I never pull up to the Met. You know I gotta bring the set, you know I gotta bring the G block, you know I gotta bring the D block, cause you know how sticky it gets. Hey. You know how sticky it get, ayy. You know how sticky it get, ayy. You know how sticky it get, ayy. She want me to play with that cat, ayy. She love how I'm making her wet, ayy. You know how sticky it get, ayy. Hey yo, Eric, bring the girls to the stage, cause somebody's getting paid. And three big slime out the cage, and Shorty tried to play it cool, but now she wish she would've stayed, cause every song that I made is ringing like I got engaged. Love my guys, I wouldn't trade. From the cradle to the grave, ayy. Gordo got me on the wave, and got me on the wave. Couple hits, now you brave. What? You niggas better behave. But all that pumping up your chest, all that talk about the best. Can I do a grande ice cinnamon caramel uh, latte? Yeah, grande ice cinnamon caramel latte. Yes. I look so crazy. Why am I blurry? Okay. I look so crazy, but this is just what I'm gonna be looking like probably for the next couple of days until we get like everything moved over because I'm struggling. such a nice day outside though it's like the perfect day it's sunny and it's warm but it's not like super hot it's really nice it would be the perfect park day don't have time for that today though hello it's gonna be 747 okay thank you mm -hmm. just a second on that no problem all right we got our coffee why are you sitting right here it's not where you're supposed to pull up we got our coffee so they have a new, I think it's new, uh, cinnamon caramel cream cold brew, but I don't really like cold brew. Like I want more milky, you know, latte, iced coffee. So I've been getting it and actually I think I got iced coffee last time, but this one is, um, where am I going? Let's go this way. This one is um, a latte. They made it into a latte, but it's still like the same, you know, flavors, but it's really good. Cinnamon and caramel might be my new like combination mm. and then I think it's like cinnamon cold foam on top which I didn't know that they had I'll, I'll usually always get like vanilla sweet cream cold foam but this one's really good as well so I am leaving the apartment and I'm getting ready to head to um back to my old place to load some things up to take to donate my pups should be finishing up shortly as well so i'm hoping that i can like time it right where i can go drop that stuff off and then go pick them up and bring them back i'm also waiting on someone to come and pick up like some furniture that i'm selling so 
hopefully that all goes smoothly um i have honestly i still have like two or three more trips to make with just like things in my car to from the old place to the apartment um i'm not gonna bore you guys with that but i do definitely have to go to um target later because i need to get like towels bath mats there's like a few things that i need to get to like be able to live there <laughs> stay there shower all that stuff so i'm hoping i can go before they close tonight because i need that stuff and then once i get back i have like so many packages hopefully i can get to show you guys today i have so much stuff from amazon that i've been ordering um but if i don't show you guys that today then i'll show you guys them in the morning for sure or tomorrow but definitely have to go to target before the end of the day and it's already like 2 30 p.m y'all i have so much to still do but yeah like i said i'm not gonna bore you guys with the boring stuff if i have time later i'll definitely come back by oops um or not come back by if i have time later i'll definitely come back on camera and like show you guys everything I, all my packages that i've got but yeah it's just it's a moving day i feel like you can't really plan moving days you just gotta like go with the flow that's what i'm that's what i'm doing because if not i will literally stress myself out so yes i'm heading back to the old place now pack some things up i'll chat with you guys a little bit later on all right so we are back at the apartment you can talk no i was cursing oh i mean i don't think kids watch me but we're back at the apartment and i'm gonna show you guys just an overview of the craziness in here we haven't really unpacked anything we still have to run to target but that's the last stop that we have to make tonight or last thing that we really need to do i'm still doing laundry because i have to make sure my linen and everything is clean for tonight so i can get in the bed and that's really all that i'm pressed to do tonight tomorrow We'll start off fresh, but let me show y'all. I'm going to Crystal's apartment, her new apartment. She's like, okay, take pictures. Of the apartment, apartment or like of us? Of the apartment. Not okay. just this one, but of the other. Let's just come look. I'm gonna so this her. is what, are you what, about, about, Jaleel? <laughs> what my living room currently looks like. There's my pepperoos. I think they love it here. I think they're a little confused, but I think they love it here. Don't they look happy? <laughs> Why are they just sitting there looking at me? Because I'm talking. You're like, what are you doing, Mom? But yeah, this is what the living room looks like. Tons of boxes. This is kind of where I had them just like unload everything because I don't have a couch right now. And so there's just free space here. Um, my TV stand is over here. Obviously, the pups are over there. And then kitchen currently looks like this. That drawer still needs to be fixed. Hopefully, they will come tomorrow to fix it. Um, but yeah, I have boxes, my little coffee, tea stuff. Everything is pretty much a mess right now. Um, bed is up though. Like I said, I have linen in the washing machine and then my dresser TV is over here. Still needs to be plugged in as well. But yeah, that's pretty much the update. Oh, we did stock also a few things that I brought from the old place we stocked in like the pantry and the refrigerator. It's not a ton of stuff. I still need to like actually go grocery shopping but yeah like i said tonight we're not gonna do any grocery shopping or any like really unpacking i just really want to get like my bed together and um i need to um go on a target run so we're about to do that now it is currently eight o'clock at night so we're gonna go ahead and head out there i'll take y'all to target with us and then hopefully when i come back i can show y'all some of the things that i got from amazon This is perfect. I probably need like four of these. We're getting a cotton bath towel. Even though you said it was a Yeah, but I don't, I'll take the towel. I mean, whatever they got. Is that the same? Yep. Oh, you found that. Mm -hmm. I do need, I do need bath mats too, actually. Um, I had a Casaluna bath mat and I just don't, I don't know. Right, for that price, it's just not, 
size 35 at the bottom. What's this one, though? Because this one down here, they never get 35. This one's real fluffy. Is this a bath mat? Spa bath runner. Hmm. Honestly, this one feels better, I feel like, than the threshold one. This is a spa bath mat. I mean, Casa Luna, yeah, this is threshold. This one's nice, too. nice and soft. Stain resistance, low linting, and machine wash and cold water. Tumble dry on low heat. Definitely gotta be machine washable and dryable. So I need a, uh, what am I about, about to call this a bath <laughs> mat? <laughs> a front door <laughs> mat. And I'm kind of in between like this one, maybe that one. Whoa. Or one of these two. This one says good vibes only. I think I'm gonna go with this one because I don't comment know down I below which really one you like. like the most. They can comment, but I'm already have it. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go with this one. Go I like this one. Yeah, it's cute. Oh, uh, let's see what I found this one. Am I really trying to spend thirty dollars on this though? Not really. And it's kind of small, honestly. It's not even that full size. So, this one's cute too, but. Ooh, 45 is not given. This not given 45. I might just have to wait. Kind of look around. This one's okay. This one's 30. But, mm, I don't know. When I'm like undecided about something, I just, we're just not gonna get it because I don't wanna get it and then regret it and have to return it. I'm gonna just keep looking around to see if I can find one that I like really love, you know? So yeah, I just got a couple more things to pick up in here. I feel like I look so crazy. It's just not even making any sense right now. A couple more things to pick up in here and then we're gonna head home and do a hopefully quick Amazon haul. All right, y'all, so we are back from Target. I'm gonna go over quickly what I got from Target, and then I have some stuff from Amazon that I wanna show you as well. Jay's here with me in the background. Say hey, Jay. Hi. Hey, girl. So I got four of these Casa Luna organic cotton bath towels, and they are a very nice size. Feels like great quality. I'm gonna throw these in the washer machine now. So yeah, I got four of those. Let me go ahead and take them out. I gotta take the tags off still, but I also got two room essential rugs. So I was gonna get like nicer bath rugs, but I think I might just see if I can find some like really nice ones on Amazon because I think I would be able to get a better deal on there so i just got two like really inexpensive ones for now they're still white they still fit the aesthetic so like they're good for now and they were a lot cheaper so i got one like bigger one to put i guess this one can go in front of the sink and then i just got like a smaller one to go in front of the shower so that you know i don't get the floor all wet at least i have something to use for now two more towels And then I just got, so I found these in the dollar spot. I got this little drink dispenser because I know. Oops, let me not break it. It ain't that good quality. Okay, I got this little drink dispenser. Hopefully it works good, but my friends, like whenever they come over, sometimes we, um, want to make like little mocktails, cocktails, whatever. And I, don't have one of these so i figured let's just buy one to keep here it was cute too black it's the aesthetic so i'm gonna keep that here so that whenever like i have them over like during the summer and stuff we want to go to like the pool whatever at least like i have something i can use i also got this heatless curl kit i feel like everybody tiktok everybody know should know what this is like i was using socks i was doing the sock method i was doing the legging method but i actually have like the actual thing to use now so and it was in the dollar spot i forgot how much this was maybe like three dollars no it was five dollars they were both five i think so it was inexpensive i just got it and then toothbrush temporary toothbrush because i forgot my electric toothbrush 
my quick toothbrush, toothpaste, because I was out, and then also just some hair pads. I got I was getting the L brand, but they switched up like their um quality, and I don't feel like it's as good of quality. So I got the honey pot brand, but if you guys are very sensitive to the herbal ones, they do have non-herbal um pads as well so i got that and that's pretty much everything that i got from target like i said i'm gonna throw these in the wash real quick and then i'll come back and show you everything most of the things that i that i can think of that i got hey jay from amazon so i also i didn't pick these up today i already had them but i did get them from target i got this little wrap like towel wrap thingy i'm gonna put this in the washing machine as well it's called a shower wrap so basically when you get out the shower but you don't want to put clothes on right away you can like dry off with your towel but then you can put this on you know do your skincare do your makeup whatever before you dress so yeah i got that and then I just got two washcloths. Once again, I did not get these today. They are also the Casaluna brand. I just got two of them. They didn't have any Casaluna washcloths today because I wanted to get a couple more. And when I picked these up, they only had two of them. So um, I don't really use washcloths like that. Um, I have some different washcloths to use for like peri hygiene area. And then I use my loofah for like my body. So really wash these washcloths I really just use for my face. So like two of them is good for now. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and throw these in there as well. Okay, so I'm back. I wanna show you guys. I feel like I are Okay, I wanna show you guys everything I got from Amazon really quickly. So the first thing that I got, I haven't put anything in here yet, but I was kind of just trying out the arrangement of it. But I got these um Ziploc bag like bamboo container holder thing so they fit all the different sizes of like ziploc bags but they also fit your foil your parchment paper what do they call it wax paper i call it parchment paper and then uh plastic wrap so they come with extras of these little things i have them back here and then they also have little screws and anchors if you wanted to like i guess actually build it into your oh what you can do is hang it like in your pantry or whatever i'm gonna probably use it in a drawer i feel like that's just the best thing to do maybe not this drawer i'm not 100 percent sure yet but i think this will help with just my organization and like making it look aesthetic all right so i sat y'all down because i got a few more things most of this stuff i've already taken out of the package um I do have a couple things that I actually got from Target. Actually, one thing. One thing I got from Target, like maybe honestly, like a couple weeks ago, I picked it up. It's like this little stand. I plan on using this by my stove. And I'm gonna put like my oil, um, salt, pepper on here. So got that. I also got a couple of things, couple other things. These are from Amazon. Uh -oh. I got this little um, what is this called? Spoon, yeah, spoon rest. rest, yeah, spoon rest for the stove as well. Gold, and then this little thing. I just got this because I was being fancy. I don't know why I got this because I did get like salt and pepper shaker thingies, not shakers, but like they're electric salt and pepper thingies. I did get those, they're in one of these boxes. I'm gonna show y'all, but this is like for your salt and pepper that you can use, and then it comes with this little spoon as well. You can like dip it out or you can just be mm -hmm. you know salt babe so i don't know i just thought it was cute like i said i was just being fancy with this one but i got that a while ago i've just had it waiting to like when i move pretty much um something else i got i've been wanting this for a while actually is this little like spin cleaning brush i got this off of amazon also i will try to link everything at least everything from amazon if I can find the stuff from Target, I might try to link that stuff as well, but I'm just gonna create like a, on my LTK, um, like home finds. I can only link but so much stuff, so I'll probably have to like break it up, but I'm gonna try to link everything. If you guys are interested in anything, I'll link it. I also got just some loofahs for the back. They're like vacuum sealed, so they kind of look small, but just some loofahs and then this little wipe container my wipes fresh and also it's just aesthetic to be sitting on by your toilet they did come in a two pack i gave one of them away because i only need one of them so all right so i got some boxes that i haven't opened yet 
from Amazon that I'm gonna open with you guys. And then I have a couple other things that I'm gonna show you that I've already kind of, well, one thing I haven't opened, a couple things I've like already laid in place. So let's see what I got. I got some new, let me see. The box is like taking your focus. Some new oven mitts they do come in a set of two so i have two of the pot holders and then two of the oven mitts and they're like really nice silicone material let me take it off it's like sticking really nice mm -hmm. kitchen aids are good man mm -hmm. oh yeah those are really nice really nice they feel really comfortable too and then these are pretty much the same thing but just like the little pot holder they have the little cut out for your hands so yeah, got two of those as well. Very nice quality. So I can like switch out my old ones. I hate when they do boxes in boxes. It's just like, is that really necessary? Oh, these are my little jars. These are actually way tinier than I thought they would be. So I plan on using Two of these. Well, I wanted to use two of them in the bathroom. This one's kind of like scratched up. I don't know. Do they? Oh wow! Oh, good. they just pop on. But they are really—they're kind of tiny. I don't know if you can tell. I thought they were gonna be a little bit bigger than this, but honestly, it's not a bad size. Like they'll still fit what I was gonna use them for. So I'm gonna do like my little cotton rounds, but I'll just do them like straight up. If that makes sense. And then, what else do I need to put in here? Maybe some cotton balls, like cotton balls and cotton rounds, those kind of things. So that's what I'm gonna use those for. But they came in a set of four and I was gonna use two of them in the bathroom and then maybe two of them in the kitchen somewhere. I don't know, for something. I'm not really sure. Um, whatever use I find for them, but I know at least two of them I'll use in the bathroom and then if I need to use more in there, I can. I don't really use Q-tips like that. I feel like not to really have it on display, but we'll see. Also for these little jars, I do have little labels that I may or may not use. I don't know. They have floss. Oh, I can use one of them for my floss picks for sure. Bath salts, hair accessories, cotton swabs, cotton pads, and cotton balls. And then they also have plain ones you can write on as well. My handwriting is not the best, so I will be using these um, ones that are already like pre-labeled. But I guess they have this if you want to use it for something outside of these things. But that's pretty much it for this first box. Got another big box that's very light, so probably not much in here. So I got just like a toilet bowl plunger situation. Plain black fits the aesthetic. I don't really use these brushes, but I feel like they're nice to have for like guests, I guess, to use, but I don't use them to like clean. I use a little, I think it's Clorox brand wand thingies and then a plunger in case you need one. So I have that for the bathroom. That was like really inexpensive off of Amazon. And then I don't know what's in here. Oh, this is like a little stand. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. You can see, little stand. I'm gonna use this for like my dish soap and my sponge by the sink. I think this is like a really cute little touch. I didn't wanna do too much, too much black. I'm gonna probably have a lot of black because I just like the way that black looks but I think little accents of like wood touches and neutrals will kind of blend well with that. So got that as well from Amazon and that's it for this big old box. And then I have one more box to go through with you guys. All right, this one feels a little bit heavier. So maybe there is some good stuff in here. But the other boxes, they didn't have barely nothing. Those big old boxes. All right, so these are smaller than I thought. I got a set of cutting boards. I feel like that's the only thing with ordering online. Yeah. And Amazon. I mean, I guess they had the measurements technically. I didn't like pay attention to them, but they're kind of small, but they do feel like 
really good quality and they're cute as well. It's just a set of three cutting boards just to replace the ones, the other ones that I had. I'll probably get a couple more. I know Ikea used to have like really inexpensive, um, like the more, I don't wanna say flimsy cause that sounds like cheap, <laughs> but like the more flexible, I guess, ones. So I might look for a couple more at least from there that are a little bit bigger. This is my salt and pepper shaker that I got. It is an electric salt and pepper mill. And I thought that they were super cute. Once again, it fits the aesthetic. And these are actually bigger than I thought they would be, which is nice. I guess they're battery operated maybe. They're very cute. Two of those, obviously one for salt, one for pepper. This is my little drink dispenser. I mean drink dispenser. <laughs> Do not drink this. This is my little soap dispensers. These are really cute. They're glass. I have a two pack. I'm gonna use one of them in the kitchen for hand soap. And then I did say dish soap earlier. I'm not gonna do dish soap. Dish soap. I'm gonna do hand soap. So one in the kitchen and then one in the bathroom for my hand soap in there as well. And I think these came with the labels too. Yes, hopefully there's two hand soap labels because that's what I want to use them both for. Let's see. Let's see. Mm, there's a hand soap and a hand lotion. So one of them just not gonna have a label because I'm gonna use them both for hand soap. But it's fine, perfectly fine. Maybe the one in the bathroom I'll use the label for it and then the one in the kitchen don't, don't need a label. Whenever I have a lot of Amazon packages, it literally feels like, um, like it's Christmas because I don't remember what, like I know all of what I ordered, but I don't know what is coming when or what's in what package. Oh, these are my little bath um, racks, I guess you can say. There's two of them. I'm gonna hang them up in the bathroom to hold like all of my products. And it's actually a really nice deep size. I could fit some like pretty big products in here. So very nice, fits the black aesthetic. We love to see it. Also has little hooks that I can put on the side for like my lupa or my little exfoliating mitt, anything like that. And it comes with little stickies to put up as well. Very nice. I am happy about that purchase. All right, last couple of things in this box. I got these little gold measuring cups. <clears throat> it came with like the teaspoon, tablespoon sizes and then the cup sizes as well. They are gold, very nice. I feel like for the aesthetic in my kitchen, I'm gonna go for like gold neutral. And then also it's just some black accents because it does go with like the hardware and stuff in here. And then the last thing that I got were these little washcloths um, on Amazon, they um, a market, I guess, for or advertise as like baby washcloths or even for like your skincare because they're very, a very soft, like bamboo material. They're very, um, what's the word? They're not like rough or abrasive, but I plan on using them for like my peri care area um, just to have like separate washcloths to use down there. They're very soft, like I said, they're not gonna be like irritating or whatever. So they came in like a six pack. I'm gonna throw these in the wash so that I can start using them. They also came with this little bag so you can wash them separately to keep them protected. Um, Yeah, that's everything that was in these boxes. I have a couple more things to show you that I've already like taken out and that'll be it, I think, for at least for tonight. Okay, last couple of things that I have to show you guys. I also got this little, I don't even know what to call this, like colander mat situation to go like over the sink. It does roll up if you wanna like get it out of the way, but I plan on using this like if I have anything that I want to like rinse off, but still needs to like drain. You can really use it for anything. You can use it for like drying your dishes if you have a couple things you need to wash, or you can use it for like your fruits and vegetables if you wanna like rinse anything off. So yeah, I feel like there are like just multiple, several uses for this for sure. Um, the other thing that I got, let me see if I can show you guys. I also got these spice jars. I ordered these a while ago and I've just had them like once again waiting until I moved. They do come with these labels, which is really nice. 
So this is what they look like. I have to figure out exactly how I'm going to store my spices. I think I may do, I don't know if I wanna do, it's gonna be in my cabinet, one of my cabinets, I believe. But I don't know if I wanna do like a Lazy Susan or I'm not really 100% sure yet, but I'm gonna figure out some sort of storage. They are glass and they're just like the perfect little size. I feel like the only thing is they don't have like the little shaker thingy so if that is something that is going to bother you then i would opt for something else but i feel like they are just like super aesthetic and cute and like i said they came with all these labels as well so they should have like what you need they come with like i don't even remember what it said like over 200 labels or something i don't know all right the last thing that i got was this little trash can to go in the bathroom it's very cute. It's actually smaller than I thought it was gonna be, but super cute. It is soft clothes and it just fits like, it just fits the aesthetic. Also, we did go ahead and put down the bath mats as well in here. So yeah, they're actually not that bad looking. I mean, they're just white. They're just plain white, but they're pretty comfortable and soft. So they will definitely be good for now, but eventually I will probably like try to switch them out for something like a little bit of better quality, so. That is that. That is pretty much it for tonight though. Um, I'm waiting on my sheets and stuff to come out the come out of the dryer. And once those are done, I'm gonna make the bed up. Um, towels have to go in the dryer. And then I'm gonna take a shower. I'm gonna make the bed up. I'm gonna get in the bed and go to sleep because I am exhausted. Um, probably catch up with you guys tomorrow. Hopefully I can do some grocery shopping and then I don't know if I will maybe try to put some of my, like try to get some of these boxes unpacked, even if it's just like some of my kitchen stuff or even if it's just my bathroom stuff, like we're gonna try to get something unpacked tomorrow, but we'll see. One more thing, I forgot to show you guys my beautiful flowers <laughs> that my sister got me. They are so cute. Don't mind the mess on the counter, but how freaking beautiful are these? adorable i'm gonna try to keep these alive for as long as i can because they're just so pretty and the vase is cute and it's nice and tall and yeah that's all i wanted to show you guys i had to show you guys that so
y'all it is the next morning um as you can see i am still laying in bed um i had an early start this morning i had some like pre-planned things that i had to take care of but i like barely got any sleep last night so i just came home and like just i didn't take a nap but i've just been resting but i do want to go ahead and just end this video off here i figured i was going to like continue it today but i think i'm just going to start a new vlog today because i feel like moving day was just enough <laughs> for one vlog so i'm gonna go ahead and end this video here i'm about to get up and probably well i'll let y'all know in the next video what i'm doing but <laughs> probably gonna go grocery shopping and then get into some other stuff as well but but yeah if you guys enjoyed this video do not forget to like comment and subscribe and i will see you guys very soon in my next moving vlog bye y'all